All right. So the Mac is beacon enabled CSMA CA. Okay, this is very similar to 11. So I will go a little bit faster. A beacon comes on and it has all the announcement as to what is the name of the network and how long is all these different parameters. Anyway, so the beacon interval is every so often the beacon in comes on, you know, could be a few seconds. And then it says that, okay, so the my super frame duration is so much. And out of that super frame, so much is my contention um, free pro time and this is contention access pro time. So, during this time you have to contain and during this time you are guaranteed. Okay, so there is some reserve time during which the periodic devices, they just are already guaranteed. In this guaranteed time is like GTS. They are guaranteed, so they just come and transmit and, and go away, right? And then you notice that there is a lot of time where nothing happens. So, that is already declared that nobody will transmit or receive during that time. Everybody is sleeping. Okay, so that is night time. And so, I mean, just night time, it can be in the day as well. But basically, you know, there's a lot of sleeping here. And then this is, um, there are some contention slots and then there are some guaranteed slots. The guaranteed slots are in the contention free period and the contention slots are in the cap. Now, the standard, when you go to standards meetings, people are saying different things and so, it allows a lot of possibilities. Every possibility is accepted. Okay, so there is a beacon less operation as well. And beacon less operation uses unslotted CSMA -CE CA. So what is unslotted? Slotted means there are particular time, you synchronize the time and then the slot starts and then if you if you don't do in that slot, then you go to the next slot. So there is a fixed period of time. Unslotted means continuous time. There is no particular instance which is better than the other instance. So, unslotted means continuous time and CSMA CMA, CMA means that basically you go do the carrier sense and do your random access from that point and so on. So, that is also allowed. Acknowledgements if requested by the sender. So, the acknowledgement is sent when you get a packet, some bits in the packet, other will say that this needs to be acknowledged. <coughs> A short interframe spacing if the previous transmission is shorter than a specified duration, otherwise long interframe spacing. So, <coughs> so you you either use a short interframe spacing or long interframe spacing. And um, so, if the previous one was very short, you send the short. If the previous one was long, you send the long. So the spacing is how far you wait before you can even sense the medium. Is this lifts or sits? And the acknowledgement time is fixed. Basically, generally, in most of the protocols that we will see and that I have seen so far, the act comes within one set. So, whenever the packet comes, you wait for the short interval and then you send the act. But this is more for, you know, in between the frames. So you send the frame. And now, if you send a long frame, then you wait long. And if you send a short, I mean, if, the, if not you send, if, you, if the previous frame was short, you wait short. Okay. This is the one we were already talking about. I think this is standard. So I'm going to skip that. We are done. <coughs>